The topic we want to deal with today is whether it is possible to recover fertility after a tubal ligation procedure. To do so, we will start by explaining what a tubal ligation is, since this term is very vague and does not reflect reality. We must remember that the fallopian tube is the duct where fertilization takes place, that is, the union of the ascending sperm with the oocyte released by the ovary. This encounter, if the fertilization continues, will give rise to an embryo that will remain in there for approximately five days. When we occlude, close or remove the tube, this encounter can no longer take place and therefore the patient is in the situation of definitive sterility given that the risk of failure of tubal ligation is extremely low. Tubal ligation or tubal occlusion has been done for many years now, basically via abdominal surgery, either through a small incision or laparoscopy, which is considered as a safest technique. Some time ago, there was a device used as an alternative to tubal ligation called Assure. The method consisted of placing small metal springs inside the tubes via hysteroscopy. The procedure did not require surgery or anesthesia since the access to the uterus and the tubes was provided by a hysteroscope inserted vaginally. The truth is that today the device can no longer be used because it leads to complications. What chances does a woman have to restore her fertility given she had undergone tubal ligation? Well, basically, there are two ways. One of them is surgical and consists of trying to restore the permeability of the tubes. It will, very often, require a laparoscopy but sometimes abdominal surgery has to be carried out. Its success depends fundamentally on the technique used for performing tubal occlusion. If large fragments of the tube were removed, surgical procedure will not be followed since the functionality of the tubes will have been lost. The other alternative which is the most widely accepted and requested by patients, is in vitro fertilization. If we choose this option, the process which normally takes place in the tubes is transferred to the laboratory, where all the natural processes are revealed and imitated. Basically, we collect the oocytes and, at the same time, the male partner provides his semen sample. In the laboratory, we create very specific conditions so that the fertilization and an initial development of the embryo, which, as mentioned before, in the tube takes around five days, is carried out right there under the eye of experienced embryologists. In the laboratory, and once the embryo reaches its fifth or sixth day, it is transferred to the uterus. That is to say that the whole procedure works like a bypass of the tubal function. The advantage of in vitro fertilization is that it does not require surgery. The success rates are considerably high, especially if the woman is relatively young. And it allows maintaining contraceptive status provided that the tube was not channeled. In summary, we can say that tubal reconstruction surgery has its limitations. The success rate is not very high and it requires an invasive surgical procedure. On the contrary, in vitro fertilization will be the technique of choice to fulfill the desire to recover fertility after tubal ligation, as long as the age and other conditions of the couple meet the criteria.